Um, what's your name? My name is my full name is Wilson Cook, but you can just call me Ken. And how old are you? I'm eleven, and I'm almost twelve. And where do you live? I live in Bungtao City, Vietnam. It's a really beautiful coastal city. Thank you. And what's your name? Um, my Vietnamese name is Phan Dang Nguyen Ai, or you can just call me Lucy. And how old are you, Lucy? Uh, I'm turning 11 this November, so I'm nearly 11. <coughs> Where do you live? I live in a country with many, uh, in a city with many historical places in town. Ken, what do you usually do to relax? Mm, I usually sit and do nothing because I, I always think that if you do something like outdoor activities, it's not relaxing. Sometimes I can just watch TV and do nothing. Lucy, do you enjoy spending time on your own or in a large group of people? Well, I think it depends on the, on the case, maybe when I am feeling lonely, I can't have many people to chat, but when I'm feeling, feeling under the weather, I could just want to be alone. Right, let's talk about leisure time. Ken, what's your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is noon and afternoon, <coughs> where I don't learn anything. Of course, I, my mother forced me to learn, and uh, I hate it. Lucy, how do you like to spend your evenings? Um, well, nowadays students are having online classes in the evenings. So I'm, actually, I'm, I'm actually spending them studying with online teachers. And, but also, my mom and I spend the evenings doing more exercise to um, enhance my knowledge. Tell us about a, a festival or a celebration in your home country, Ken. Mm, that's, uh, I think the most uh, biggest celebration that the Vietnamese people celebrate is paid holiday. It's the, it's the, first, it's the first day of the year where people Move fireworks and do everything. Children get lucky money, and I love it. Lucy, how do you celebrate festivals in your country? Well, I can say the biggest festival is maybe Ted Holiday. So, in Ted Holidays, children would go and visit their aunts and uncles and their relatives' house to get lucky money, and also. Um, Ted, we also worship our ancestors. My family spent Ted worshiping my ancestors and also going to play visit my relatives and spending time with my grandparents in my hometown. Ken, what type of people become famous in your country? Lots. But most of it is actors. They are very good at acting, and I think their films are really good when they are in films. And I love watching it. The films. Lucy, would you like to become famous? Well, as famous as it is the magnitude and advantages, I think I would want to become famous, but only in my country and don't. <coughs> And people in the other country don't know my 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 reputation, and so people would fly here to meet me and would spend time with me, and I wouldn't have any private. Ken, you will see two photos showing people doing different activities. Compare the photos and say how hard it was for the people to learn these skills. Can I stop now? Uh, most pictures are showing two 
to different people trying to learn a hard skill. In the first picture, the, I think the man is trying to write a program and it's really ro long and you have to think of what it will be or else just a little mistake will make a whole program mistake. In contrast, the second picture shows a woman which are doing ballet, I think so, and she is just like a wiggly worm dancing. She like she's just like no bones body. Uh, so this these two photos are really hard to learn. I have tried programming and it's super hard and I can only program just a sm small and easy program. As ballet, my, my aunt is a ballet master and I don't know how can they do this. So the, in uh, programming you have to have the brain and you have to look program and think about what will they do. And the ballet woman, you will have to learn how to exercise and you will have to be thin so that you could do some of these acts. Lucy, do you admire people who have learned different difficult skills? Well, in these two pictures, they are both learning difficult skills and some people will admire them and I think I would also admire them. Firstly, I admire the person in the first picture is because I think he's writing a code or something and so he has to learn many ways to make codes and then make the code to be like very good and perfect so I think that this skill is very difficult to learn and I really admire this person because he or she has learned these skills and now are doing it fluently. Thank you. Lucy, you will see two people showing, two photos showing people working together, compare the photos and say how important it is for these people to work well together. Um, these photos both show that there's a team working together to make something successful. In the first picture, a team is collaborating with each other to try and win a volleyball match, while the second picture shows a group of people filming a film, filming a film together. Um, the first picture, this is a very important for these for these people to work well together because if they won't won't work well together they won't be able to win because they don't work together and like they pass the balls to each other to win. While in the second photos if they um, if they don't work well with each other the film won't be successful and it won't get many viewers and so I think this it is very important for these people to work together. Ken, is it more difficult to be successful when you work alone? Uh, in my opinion, it depends. Um, when you don't understand the uh, teammates' feelings, it will be difficult, super difficult, to, so it's better to work alone. However, when you understand each other, working together can make the progress faster and even more successful. Okay. Imagine your friend is choosing a holiday resort for his summer trip. Here are some facilities he's thinking about and a question for you to discuss. First, you have to take a look Take some time to look at the task. Now, talk to each other about why these facilities are important for a holiday resort visitor. Mm, 
I think that an airport nearby is really uh, is a really good facility where you could uh, it is really convenient so that you could travel whenever you want. Um, I think that's a good idea, but I think a tourist information center is also good because when tourists don't know where to go, they could ask here, like they ask where is the car garage and uh, and there's the information for them. And also when they're in a motion city, the tourist information center can o- also provide them with um, the information they need. So I think this facility is very good for a holiday resort. Mm, however, I really agree with the idea, but in contrast, uh, nowadays the technology is really developing, which means you can ask the internet about the tourist center whenever you want. So I think a tourist information center is not really like re- con- uh, essential. A local hospital will be good because uh, of that you will go to the hospital whenever you get sick or something like broke your leg while playing a lot. Uh, I actually agree with you on this idea, but I think that a a car rental uh, urgency would be a good facility because when you need a car to drive people to the local hospital fast, you can rent a car there or maybe ask to borrow a car to drive the person to the hospital. So I think this is a great facility. Yeah, I agree. But the, but however, you could call a taxi whenever you want instead of renting a car. I know that a car rental agency is more convenient than taxi, but I think the World Spot Center is the best. Yeah, I also agree with you. I think having a water sports center nearby, your children could go there and relax. Also, a holiday resort means you relax, and so this is a good facility. Thank you. <coughs> Ken, do you think there should be more holidays in your country? Yes, of course. I hate studying. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't like studying very much, so... Having holidays means I could uh, play a lot, where, so I love having more holidays so that we can celebrate. Do you agree, Lucy? Um, I think that... Um, I forgot the question. Do you think there should be more holidays in your country? Uh, I think that nowadays people are being stressed because of the pressure in the world and students are not having enough time to do to do more outdoors and so I think there would need to be more holidays for people to relax. Ken, do you think it's important to know about other cultures? Yeah, it's really important because knowing about other cultures not only helps you when you're trying to learn and get a good point at your geography, but in the future you could go, you could travel abroad. So knowing other culture makes the trip more interesting, and you could know what's bad and what's good in the country. What do you think, Lucy? Mm, I think I agree with him because nowadays many cultures are developing, and so I think people should learn about other culture and could improve their country's culture to be better than them. Thank you. That's the end of the test. Yippee! Yippee! Bye! Bye! Bye.